Alrighty, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Yeah, I've actually let my hair kind of grow out a little bit. Uh, fortunately, I don't have no gaming related stuff. Uh, first off, we'll talk about some personal life stuff. Um, this upcoming week will be my last at Somerset Coca-Cola. Uh, I'll be starting with Corbin Pepsi the following week on the 8th. And it's not because of anything about Coke or anything like that. It's just simply the commute. Uh, I'm driving from Knox County to Pulaski County every day. That's about a 90-minute drive. Um, versus going to Corbin is 10 minutes for me. So I could be there in 10 minutes and get it done. And you know, Even if I have a long day, I don't have to worry about getting a hotel room. So I'll always appreciate Coca-Cola for giving me the chance. And for those of you that are newer CDL drivers looking for something that's not OTR, uh, depending on your location, for the most part, Pepsi and Coca-Cola both will look at new CDL holders. So, uh, you don't have to worry too much about that. Not necessarily saying you've got a guaranteed job, just saying that they do consider you, um, in the hiring pool. So with that in mind, um, I'm also working on a book. <laughs> um, it's been a childhood goal of mine to create a book write a book, publish a book. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go the traditional or the self-publishing route quite yet. Uh, but I would like to publish it now. I would love for it to be successful, but, you know, of course, publishing a book does not entitle it to be successful. Just like writing a book also doesn't entitle it to be published. Although with the way that the current politics involved in a lot of the publishing houses are nowadays, you know, it's going to be kind of eh. I guess. So that's kind of why I'm weighing. I'm going to take a look at good publishing houses versus bad ones and then kind of weighing that because I would rather not be out of pocket publishing it, but you know, we'll, we'll have to see if that's the only way I'm going to get it published. It'll be the way it is, but I got to finish the dang thing, don't I? So that's cool. Um, and I've been, uh, I've always been wanting to work on it for years and I put it off and I guess that's kind of a double edged sword because while yeah I could have had one written by now it's also given me enough time to take some inspiration and to uh enjoy things. Uh for example this is going to be mostly like fantasy based. Now what subgenre I couldn't even begin to tell you, okay? It's just I have you know some of it's a little bit gothic, some of it's a little bit cosmic, some of it is a little bit Classic, high, some low, some swords and sorcery. I'm just kind of going with what I want for the story. I don't have nothing outlined. I just kind of have vague ideas, put characters in situations, and kind of wondering how they get out of them. So with that, and then of course there are going to be some fantastical monsters. Uh, chimeras being one of them. Uh, that features in the first chapter so far. Uh, races, I don't know yet. I haven't been able to fit anything besides just humans, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. With that in mind, uh, that's really all I've got going on. Um, I've also been kind of homebrewing my own rule sets for, for when I do get back into gaming, which luckily, with this job I'm getting ready to take, will have me home a lot sooner uh, than I normally would. So I could actually enjoy my Friday nights when I get off. So, because most of the time I don't get home until 7 or 8 o'clock at night on Fridays. Um, but, again guys, I appreciate you. I uh, wanted to put some content out. And, as always, take care. God bless. See you on the other side. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers and new likes and everything else. So, uh, stick around. I understand I've not been totally active lately. But, hopefully that will change here in the next few weeks. See ya.